20 official D&D 5e campaigns and source books, 11 third-party 5e books, 5 D&D books from first edition, 13 books from other TTRPGs, and 4 books just about TTRPGs. In total, that's 53 books, about 10,000 pages of material. That's the RPG library I share with my fiance, but on a weekly basis of prepping and playing RPGs, we use only like a tiny fraction of this stuff. And that fact bothers me. However, when I suggested getting rid of about 12 of those unused D&D books, well, I'll tell you later which ones Grace approved of letting go. To give you a hint, she mostly agrees with over 80% of D&D lovers who have yet to ever get rid of an RPG book. And with RPG mastermind Seth Skorkowski, who told me on Twitter, donate slash sell RPG books? The only reason I know you're speaking English is I understand the individual words, but this concept is alien to me. You should hoard RPG books like a dragon until their combined weight creates a gravitational field pulling you into a RPG singularity. Seth's tweet resonated with a lot of people. Yes, because it's funny, but I think also because we're conditioned to hoard, not just books, but all kinds of stuff. And that fact also bothers me. Don't get me wrong, I actually love the cozy feeling of an old library just overflowing with smelly books, but at home, I want open space and clear surfaces that are easy to clean, even if that makes me a weirdo. Still, I don't want to further alienate myself by saying it's a bad thing to collect tons of books, but I will plant my flag and die on the hill that says it is a better thing to regularly evaluate your collection and sooner rather than later, pass the torch. So consider this video my persuasion check for you to do just that but I'm probably rolling with this advantage if, like me, you were born and raised in the US because then we're working against decades of consumerism. But here we go. Bobby's first, are you filming that? Yep. Bobby's first day of walking. One of the many adages that my dad would repeat during my childhood was, better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. He mostly brought this up when we went camping. And he was totally right. When you're in literal wilderness and you don't even have to carry everything on your back like a D&D adventurer because you got to drive most of the way there in a station wagon, it's way better to overpack. But as I got older, I leaned toward another piece of my dad's advice. Also initially related to camping now that I think about it. Always leave a place better than you found it. Now. Without me going on a rant about it, we can probably all agree that rampant consumerism is gradually destroying all non-human and human life on our planet. We know it's better to fix things than replace them, to buy used instead of new, and we know, though we may not like to think about it, that we are not 5e characters who never ever die. And one day, our kids, or some guys who were hired to clear out our homes will be breaking their backs to lug 10,000 plus pages of mostly unused RPG materials to the nearest dumpster. And that was kind of heavy. But that was also a pun. Hey, we're lightening the mood again. But I hope you see my point about hoarding dozens or hundreds of unused books not ultimately leading to anything productive or helpful for you or anyone else besides the RPG companies that you bought those books from. Let me emphasize, unused books. If there are books on your shelf that you're regularly referencing for your games or just flipping through every once in a while for inspiration, those are the books you should totally keep. But as with most things in nature, that's likely about 20% of your collection. And the other 80%, which at first you really liked, but that joy faded quickly and now you pretty much never look at it, those books, could be enjoyed just as much or more by someone else. Books are not meant to rot on a shelf, they're meant to be read, and maybe your unused book could be in someone else's 20%. Their most treasured RPG books, and then they share that book and that joy with their whole group. That is how you leave the hobby better than you found it. If you agree, give this video a thumbs up so more people see it. Now, out of the dozen or so D&D books that Grace and I never look at, she's only letting me get rid of three. And in her defense, we should have more time next year to actually have a regular home group and play through more of our unused material. But for now, we are ditching these three big campaigns that we have played through and mostly enjoyed, but not enough to play again. And know that a lot of local game stores will buy back your old books. 
but since I wish I started playing D&D when I was younger, I checked out my old high school's website, saw that they now have a tabletop gaming club, and I'm so excited to get these books into the hands of the next generation of D&D lovers so they can enjoy these books as they were meant to be. And I highly encourage you to do the same. So to figure out which books you like and use the most, maybe play this video review of all the D&D 5e books while you stare at your shelf in contemplation. Thanks for your support and keep building. There he goes, his first step. Come on. I believe this. Yeah. I love this.